I've finished my PRP treatment. What now? In this video, we will outline what activities are encouraged and what should be avoided to get the most benefit out of your PRP therapy, including diet, exercise, and medication advice. A usual course of PRP for arthritis of the knee is three injections over a period of three weeks, plus a follow-up injection after one month. Patients should return for a top-up injection one year after their treatment to prevent the progression of arthritis. We found that 70-80% to of patients experience significant improvement from PRP, but because some people can take up to a month or more to see a benefit, it is important to give the results some time. During the course of a PRP treatment, and at least one month afterwards, we encourage low-impact exercises like cycling, aqua aerobics, or just walking in water. It's best to exercise four times each day in short 10 to 15 minute bursts, including cycling on your back, crunches, and one or two legged squats. You should avoid excessive or high impact exercises because they can interfere with the benefits of PRP. Such activities are running, walking, prolonged standing, skipping and jumping. You can take paracetamol to reduce any pain but please don't use other anti-inflammatory drugs. They can reduce the benefit from PRP by inhibiting platelet function and even worsen arthritis in the long term. A recent study in a medical journal found that losing just one pound of body weight resulted in a four-fold reduction in the load passing through the knee, which illustrates the importance of weight loss in managing arthritis. To get started, you can talk to your GP about receiving a care plan and seeing other health professionals like dietitians, exercise physiologists, and physiotherapists. Most commonly, your dietitian will recommend to drink more water, avoid snacking, especially at night, avoid sugar and high glycemic index foods, including wheat products and sugars, milk, and eat more salads and vegetables instead. Resistance training is a fantastic way to improve your outcomes from PRP. You may start working out your upper body right away as it does not interfere with your treatment and helps relieve the stress on your knees by reducing your weight. About a month after treatment, you can start training your legs, which diverts stress from the joints to the muscles. In summary, you should complete low impact exercises in short 10 to 15 minute bursts four times each day starting with your treatment, avoid anti-inflammatory drugs, reduce your weight with a healthy diet, and about one month after your treatment, you should begin knee strengthening exercises. This video is to help PRP patients achieve better results. You can help by sharing your experience and questions in the comments. We're releasing a PRP, stem cells or health-related video regularly, so don't forget to like and subscribe.